Today I'm going to do an overview of Marcy's cage. Uh, a lot of things have changed since the last time I did this video. And I just wanted to show you all the new things that I got for her. So here we're looking at Marcy's hut. On top of her hut is a green and yellow chew. Um, next to that are some apple sticks and of course her apple carousel with loofahs. In front of her house is some timothy hay. I got some timothy hay in order to add some more fiber to her diet. Also, I love the idea that it's a natural nesting material. In addition, it's um, a boredom breaker. She likes to forage for the best pieces and she attempts to nibble every little bit that she can find. So I like the fact that this Timothy Hay can do all of those things. Um, also, she has her water bottle, her little bridge that leads to her label maker too. And of course, this is her food bowl. It's empty right now because I just cleaned it. I'm gonna refill it right after this video. Um, her sand bath. Behind her sand bath is her popsicle stick fences. I made these in order to ease her boredom. I noticed that she likes to chew things that are really solid, so I taped these against the aquarium wall with um, some cardboard, and all the materials made to make these are very safe for the hamster, and as you can see, she already chewed quite a bit here. Um, these are actually kind of new. I had a couple that were made before, and she chewed through those really fast. Um, in addition to those uh, wooden fences, I have here some wood chew. Um, here we also have her little white hideaway. I love this hideaway because it's much bigger than her last one. She goes in there to groom in addition. She sometimes occasionally pees in there but I just clean it out since it's made of ceramic. It's really easy to clean. It's also gorgeous with its uh, cherry blossom printing on the sides. I really love it. It, it was really cheap too. It was only like five dollars or something at Big Lots and she fits perfectly inside. I like how big it is and how stable it is compared to her last one. Um, behind her hideaway is her Ecotrician uh, edible log. I really enjoy this uh, item. I highly recommend it if you have a hamster that loves to chew. Um, I only got it yesterday and Marcy was already nibbling on this right when I put it into her cage. I love how it's um, a tunnel too so she can play with it and it's a bit rough so it, it trims her nails as well and I just love the idea of it so I really recommend it, recommend this item to those who have hamsters that love to chew. Here is her grooming spot. I leave that empty for her because she likes to dig down to the very bottom of the cage and um, then she'll like groom herself so I try to put um, extra bedding in that corner. And then of course her hamster wheel. I'm hoping to get a larger wheel soon um, however right now I don't have that much money and the wheels are very expensive so hopefully after saving a little bit more I'll be able to afford one um, so that's pretty much her entire cage oh if you're curious I made the background using scrapbook paper nothing fancy and I just taped it back uh, taped it behind the aquarium wall so I hope you enjoyed thank you for watching bye